Well, I was pulling the skirter up that last couple of hills. It seemed kind of hard to uh, pull, harder than normal. I didn't really understand why, but kept going. It was still pulling all right. Got her in the field, made a turn, or I could see behind me. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> Maybe that's why it was so hard. God damn it. Oh well. Maybe she goes. The tires are all shitty on this thing anyway. I unloaded it so there's no weight on them now. You can see all the cracks in there and stuff. That's why we replaced this one on this side there a few years ago. You can't see the back tires on this thing uh, from the cab. You only see a little bit of the front tires. You can't see the backs at all. So, unless you make a sharp turn. The mirrors are well, it's not pointed there, so whatever. More work. Good morning, guys. Just figured I'd make a video of this since I'm out here, and this is what I'm doing today. Now we got the uh, spreader out here, just hanging out by itself, no tractor, as you can probably see. A little bit of a up there with the tire. On Saturday, I guess it was. As you can tell there, that's pretty cool. Bit of a flat, and then uh, kind of drove on it for a bit and mangled it. Not that it matters, the tires are shot on this thing anyway. Here you get some new ones. You can see the cracks in it. And on the other side, it's something the same. cracks in it. This tire we replaced um, not long after we got it. So this one's still good obviously. But yeah this one is uh, definitely no more good. So we don't want to pull it home and you know ruin the rim. So just trying to get it off. We, uh, we're trying to chain up the walking beam to try and keep that up and then haul it home like that. But just wasn't working out for us so we kind of gave up on that and now we're just going to pull the wheel off and take that home so i'm just doing that uh got the uh breaker bar there got spider webs on me that's cool so yeah i spread on this field there last week and this is the dirt field i was just spreading a little bit on that and uh, that's when we ran into the trouble i uh it was flat before I started spreading it, but it was fully loaded, so I had to empty it regardless. I'd never be able to jack this up fully loaded, I don't think. Not with the jack we got. 3,000 gallons, US gallons. It's pretty heavy. Even without uh, anything in it, it's pretty heavy. When it happened on Saturday, we brought the 375 out here and hooked a chain on that. Uh, bracket there and tried to lift it up with the loader and 375 wouldn't lift it so she's pretty heavy even empty so anyway, yeah that's what i'm up to here today uh anything else uh comes along i'll let you guys know but definitely going to be holding off on spread manure for a little while anyway probably later in the week we're going to get uh, a couple new tires for this thing so it'll be more better. It's not so bad losing the tire out here out back. But when we're hauling down the road, the public uh, highway, we don't, we don't want anything like this to happen. It's, uh, that's no good. So. Anyway, that's a bit, I think.